Well guys, it's Kieran of Killer Kids HD here, and welcome back to the Cherry's Rise. In today's episode, we face off against Stoke in the Premier League. Now, uh, we have some games to speak about. We are currently fourth, so we've done quite well, um, to be honest. We have a sign-in to speak about as well. Yeah, we made a sign-in. I know, it's quite, uh, quite a thing. Let's go look at the schedule really quickly then. Um, so in the last episode, we beat Hotford 2 now, and we haven't lost a game since, which is great. Uh, we won 2-0 at home against Leicester. 80th minute goal from Danny Barth and an 88th minute goal from Mario Alvarez. Seen deal here. They did get a penalty, which they missed, which was great. Played quite well in this game. Uh, Justin Munt played and so did Danny Ings, but Danny Ings is just struggling at the moment. In the next game, we were away to Burnley, and we won 2-0. Harry Kane with a brace in the 50th minute and 80th minute to uh, seal the deal. Very good game for us. Patty Bamford did play against us, um, our former player. Matt Ritchie did not. He did not come on. In the next game, we were away to Crystal Palace. We won 1-0 in the FA Cup. Uh, Gustavo Caballo with the goal. We played a weaker side for this game, and we still managed to win. Lorik Benteke, the Benteke on the block, did play. Um... Didn't really do much, to be honest. It was just a case of uh, us not taking our chances, but we got one, and that was it. In the next game, we were at home to Swansea, and we won 2-1. Uh, goals from Grealish and Campbell seeding us a game, and Demaria Gray scoring for Swansea. Good game, really. You just saw the new signing, by the way. He was there. And in the next game, uh, against Hull, we won 2-1. Tornstra scored for Hull, but Danny Ings. And new signing, Juan Fernando Quintero. Yep, he signed for us. Um, scoring the minute. So let's go speak about Juan Quintero, then. Yeah. Um... 4.2 million from PSG, fifty-six pound, um, fifty-six thousand pounds per week. I tell you what, he um, took a three hundred, a thirty thousand pound pay cut to join us. I think that shows that he wants to get game time. Um, he played two games for us, one goal, six point nine five average rate, and he was playing quite well for PSG this season. So I'm quite surprised to let him go. Um, I'm really happy we managed to bring him in. You know, you say his kind of ability is three star, his potential he isn't going to infuse, but neither was Giacomi Beneventura, and we made a profit on him, so we're going to do what we usually do, hopefully get some good performances out of the lad, and um, make a profit. So we have some outs here. Yeah. A couple outs to speak about. Ibrahim, he's gone to Sassuolo for the rest of the season now. We know that we've been speaking about how, you know, he's doing quite well for us and we just need him to go out for a little bit and maybe get some experience in a different league. So he's going to play Sassuolo. I think that's a good thing. Um, K Bailey Cargill, now he's finally left. He's gone to Norwich. £3 million signing for Norwich. It's such a shame because we've been doing so well to develop him. I didn't want him to go, but he was so adamant that he wanted to leave the club. Three million pounds isn't bad, but I would have liked him to stay. Now we have one more departure. Jason Steele's finally gone. So, <laughs> is a thing, right? So he leaves. He says to me, right, I'm not getting first team football here. Let me go. I'm like, all right. You got two offers. You got one from Chelsea and you got one from Newcastle. Who do you want to go to? Chelsea, who have Courtois, and you won't get first team football here. And we got seven hundred thousand for him. We played a bit. We paid a bit too much for him when we got him. He's left, he's not... Uh, you know, we got good performances out of him in the first two seasons, but, you know, when Radkovic came in, that was it for him. I'm guessing he just left and went to Chelsea because of wages, but, I mean, when you say you want first in football and you're going to go to Chelsea, you're not going to get it. It's like Quadrado. I mean, he's never going to play for Chelsea again now, Pedro Sign. He's never going to play again. My face just went off. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so we have 7.92 million in the bank and 114k in wages. I'm not going to use it. Um, I think um, I'm done for signings in this window. You know, Quadaro was just a rash signing, really, to uh, potentially uh, maybe make a bit of profit. Um, in terms of, if I do make a signing, it's either going to be Joe Ibrahim, who's on loan to Swindon from Tottenham. Uh, it's either going to be him, Yuri Vorapayev from CSK Moscow, uh, because his name's Yuri and he's amazing, or uh, Graham Brugham, maybe Luis Guerrero. I don't know yet. We're just to look at it eventually. Andy, New Andy uh, Nolan. Obviously, we tried to get him when he joined Arsenal, which is quite a shame. But um, he's not going to join us. Um, in terms of competitions, anyway, obviously we've got Salzburg in the next episode. We've got Bristol City in the next round of the FA Cup. I think that's a good draw for us. We can progress and maybe uh, progress into the next round. Um, Tramier against Ipswich is there. Derby against Villa. Tottenham Chelsea is a big one. United Wolves. I think that's a good game as well. Um, Grealish got most assists along with Fallon from Forest Green. Yep. Doesn't mean much in this cup, anyway. Um, so let's get into this game against Stoke then and see what we can do. So if you know this series, um, we've done quite well in Stoke, against Stoke really. They've had these couple of times where we've beaten us. But I think we've done quite well. Our bogey team this year has been whole. We can't not beat them, they're very hard to beat. 
Um, let's do a quick bit, see who the fan that the manager thinks. They want Conter in the middle, okay. And we'll play Luis Alberto over Crowley. Um, we'll do that eventually, we'll do that straight away. Because Wicker can switch out Munoz. We, um, put Carballo on for Munoz. Crowley, Alvarez, Joel Campbell and Ings. We'll play Ings with Kane again. Uh, I really want Ings to score, man. He's not doing well this season. He's just coming from injury and he's not doing anything for us. It's such a shame. Uh, it just irritates me. The Stoke side, Kaseido, uh, Kaseido, he's one of my favourite players ever. I don't know why. Anatovic, Juan Carlos, Svensson, Geis, Chalaba, Klishy, Shawcross, Harry Maguire, John Flanagan, and Asmir Begovic, Clark in, net, um, in the bench, Walshide, Van Ginkel, Cochrane, Rosales, Hoof, and Bojan. We're going to look at Kaiseido. 30 years old. He is amazing. I'm so... He's so good. Oh, he's such a consistent player. I, I, I would have brought him in. Honestly, he's so consistent. I, I just want him in anywhere. I, I, when I done a Crystal Palace save, he scored 20 in the season, and I signed him off for 20. Such a good signing. Let's get into the game anyway and see if we can pick up a win. Kickoff is underway. Um, in terms of this game, I really want Danny Ings to score so badly. Danny Ings, maybe Quintero to get a goal too. I really want Danny Ings to score. He's been really struggling this season since he's uh, come back from injury. And it sucks because, you know, he had such a good season last season, so I'd really like it if he scored. Begovic with the clearance to Piot. It's Herbe. Can we break and get a goal here? Luis Alberto to Danny Ings. There he is. Uh, lovely piece of work from him. Danny Ings. That's, uh, what? I, the, what? I saw the one to the score. And he just scored a bloody worldie. What a goal that is by Danny Ings. 1-0 Bournemouth. Come on. The work here by Danny Ings is unreal. Look at the work by him. And he pops it with his right foot. That is a gorgeous goal. Lovely work by Danny Ings. I'm so glad he scored. Juan Carlos to Caicedo. Geis to Svensson. Stoke can break here, but Pyok with a great piece of tackle from the heartbeat of this side. It's Herbe. Luis Alberto out wide to Grealish. He's probably going to pass it off to Ings at some point. He's not. He's going to park it on the right side. Sides with Herbe. It's Herbe. Great save by Begovic. Wow. Yes. Jack Grealish. 2 0. We're doing really well. <laughs> Really, really well. Good start. 2-0. Let's have a look there. It's a very nice little bit of work in the um, in the box. Begovic have a good save, but it's a rebound goal, so he's never getting up in time. Good goal by Grealish. 2-0. Half-time. I think, in terms of performance, you can't really say anything bad about it. Defence has been great. Attacking, we've been really good. What can I say? Assists from a and Alberto. Goals from Grealish and Danny Ings. What more can I want? You know, what can I want? Danny Ings is starting to get a goal again. That's great. I would love it if Danny Ings could score another. And I, when I said that I wanted him to score, he scored. So if he scored again, you know, that'd be fantastic. Guys with Svensson. Imagine if Quatero got a goal. Really? I'm not risking it. Sorry, mate. I'm not risking it. Danny Ings is going to go off a hurricane. I'm oh, sorry, I just can't risk it. I refuse to risk it. I can't afford to lose another striker to injury. Uh, Danny Ings is going to go off a hurricane. Let's see if Harry Kane can score. Rajkovic with the kick out. Shawcross gets it. Maguire to Arnautovic. Bojan tries to get it. Alberto. It's a nice bit of work by Steve Cook there. Alberto. Grealish is now on the ball. Quintero get that unlucky. Danny Bath puts it out to King Rajkovic. I need to change his name to ring King Rajkovic. Harry Kane. Quintero. Luis Alberto. Alright. Dancing around his players. Grealish. Harry Kane! Is that offside? It's not offside. 3-0. That's a lovely goal. I thought I was offside. I won't lie to you. I, will, I did think that was offside. 3-0 though. We're dominating this game. Luis Alberto. It's a great pass to Grealish. And Grealish, free ball. No, he's not offside. No chance of offside. I thought he was, but he wasn't. Lovely goal. 3-0. We are dominating. 68 minutes in. We're going to make another change. We're going to take off. Luis Alberto for Dan Crowley. And then our last change will probably be Quintero switching out with... Uh, Crowley and then bringing on um, Alvarez or something, I don't know, we'll get into it in a second. Flanagan with the throw to Bojan, down the right hand side, he's probably going to whip it in the mixer at some point. He's not going to pass it to Rosales, passes it back to Bojan, he's going to whip it in the mixer. Caicedo, I told you, I t what did I say about Felipe Caicedo? What did I say, why are you celebrating, it's 3-1, this constellation got me, it's 3-1. What was I saying about Caicedo? He's a consistent son of a gun. Bojan, so great, but that's a lovely pass, lovely, lovely pass. Caicedo, great save by Rajkovic, he isn't going to save it again though. Great goal, 3-1. Um, we're probably going to make another change right now. Oh wait, no we're not. We're going to watch this highlight, see what happens. Steve Cook, Wimmer, to Crowley. Harry Kane, short cross tackles in. Quintero gets it, Grealish. Grealish. Is that not a foul? I thought that would have been a foul. Cook, Crowley, Quintero, Pyot, Chambers, 
Uh, it's uh, me, what am I doing? Crowley, out wide to Chambers, he's going to whip it into Maguire. Maguire, Harry Kane, I don't know. Maguire clears it. Crowley, Quintero. Quintero, Grealish, that's got to be a goal. That has to be a goal. 4 1. We are dicking them. We're giving them the Sir Dickens. 4 1. We're, I can't believe it. What a result this has been. Quintero. This light fake shot. That's a fucking lovely ball by Quintero. What a pass by Quintero. That makes an assist for Quintero. Lovely. 4 1. We're going to make another change now. Um, we're going to take off. Um, dun, 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 dun. We're going to take off. Quintero for Mario Alvarez. Let's see what happens here. I've left the game running. That was a bad idea. 87 minutes in. Geist with the free kick. Maguire and out of it. Van Ginkel. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Bojan. Bojan. Match give it to save. Get rid of it. Thank you very much. I don't even know what was going on there. I left it on playing by accident. Uh, we've got a minute left. On out of it. Ball into Bojan. What the fudge? I stopped myself from swearing there. That was quite. That was quite good of me. I've never done that. Out of it with a shot goes out. I'm quite surprised we've dominated the game we have, the way we have. I mean, we're becoming quite a, a force in the English side, isn't it? We're becoming quite a force. Pie up, mate. Don't do it. Uh, we're becoming quite a force. It's quite nice. We're going to be bull whipped in here by Geis. He's going to whip it in. Man's going up front with him. Geis whips it into Shawcross. It's going to be cleared. Harry Kane runs after it. He's got two seconds left. Game over. 4-1. Or not. What's going on? Is that going to be it or are we going to get a fifth goal because the game loves me? Bloody hell, what's going on? We're getting so many free kicks. It's going to be whipped in by Crowley, Grealish, Harry Kane. Crowley, what's going on? Right, have we got another foul? Or is it game over? What's going on? Right, game over. Okay, right, we've won 4-1. That's a great result. I'm surprised we dominated the way we did, but we are becoming a force in the Premier League right now. We're becoming a right force. That um, extends our lead over Tottenham anyway. We beat Chelsea earlier. We are two points behind Liverpool, Man City and Chelsea. We're not going to win the league. There's no chance we can win the league. Can we? That's a performance you want to write home about. Two goals and assists. That is a lovely performance. In terms of passes completed and tackles completed, it's not too good. But when you get an assist and two goals, it's a great, great result. So that'll be it for today. I wouldn't expect any more transfers. If there is, I'll let you know. But that won't be the, any more transfers because, I mean, we're in February. There can't be any more transfers unless, you know... We bring someone in for next season, but we can't. So, um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing a doubleheader. Salzburg in the Europa League, home and away. We love these uh, games, so um, we'll do what we can to get through to the next round. We'll probably be facing against Liverpool or Besiktas, so let's see what happens there. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Cherries Rise. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon for another episode of The Cherries Rise. Can we continue this good run of form?